this is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Today, we will be installing Emoti Voice for the whole video. I am going to use this voice for this video to see how it sounds with different types of sentences. This also generates pretty fast as a quick speed test. Let's see how long in real time it will take to generate this sentence. So it is not as fast as Piper, but still pretty good. Anyways, let's get on with the install. This is the GitHub page for this project. It includes thousands of voices that can speak English and Chinese. It is also supposed to be able to show emotions, but I haven't figured out how to do that. I had to make some code changes to get this to work on Windows. So I created a fork of the project here. Can you speak with some enthusiasm, please? People are going to fall asleep. I changed my mind. I am going to use this voice for this video. That one was going to make me fall asleep while making this video. If you scroll down, you will find the full installation section. Let's get started. Begin by creating a new Conda environment. By the way, I will leave a link to a prerequisite video which goes over how to install Anaconda and other tools that are often needed for the installs. We can copy paste this text to activate the new environment. Then it says to install Torch and Torch Audio with this command, but I am actually going to change that and use the Conda command from the official PyTorch website. I will go ahead and make that change here real quick so that it can be copied from right here. Now I can just copy paste that to the Conda prompt so that it installs PyTorch with CUDA enabled. When that is done, we will need to install some dependencies. This project didn't have a requirements text file. Instead, there is a pip install command where it installs all the packages with one command. So we will copy paste and run this command. The Transformers has a specific version requirement. The rest are using the latest as of the making of this video, which may change if this video is watched months from now, resulting in potential issues. I will try to go back and update this command to provide the exact versions it ends up installing for me for each package. Now before we forget, let's go to the top and get the URL to clone this repository. I am using my fork of the repository with the code changes that were needed for UTF encoding for Windows. Let's run the git clone command to download the source code and cd into the new folder. Next, we will enable large file download with this command to be able to run the next command to download what is needed to prepare model files. The git lfs install will allow us to download large files through git commands which is often needed before downloading large models from Hugging Face. Let's copy paste and run this command to download the model files from Hugging Face. Then we can go to the inference section and click this link to download the pre-trained models. I would download each of these one by one when I tried installing all at the same time. Google Drive created a weird zip, so I just download each file one by one with the three dots next to the file in each row. Once they are downloaded, let's create the folders with these two commands. This will create the folder for the style encoder, and this one for the prompt TTS, which I think is what lets you select an emotion for the voice, which by the way, I couldn't figure out how to make work. We need to place two of the files in this folder and the third one in the other folder mentioned here. Go into Outputs, then the Prompt TTS folder, then this CKPT folder. Let's drag and drop the files that start with G underscore and do underscore into this folder. Then let's go up a couple folders and go into the Style Encoder folder, and then into the CKPT folder that is in there. Let's drag and drop that third file in there. We are ready to launch the app. I will use the Streamlit app. Let's first install Streamlit with this command. Once that finishes, we will be able to launch the web application with that next command mentioned on GitHub. But before I launch it, let me mention one of the changes I made, which was in the demo page app that launches the Streamlit application. Originally, it was set to use CPU for the device. I changed it to CUDA so that it would utilize CUDA and run faster. If you are on a CPU, you can comment out the line for CUDA and then uncomment the line for CPU in this Python file. The comment is made by using the pound sign at the start of the line. Anyways, let's copy paste and run this command to launch the Streamlit application. This will automatically launch the application and open a web browser. It will take some time to load the models and to populate the dropdowns on the page. We can change the language with the dropdown on the right. I will change it to English. 
There are literally thousands of speakers to select from in the speakers dropdown. You can enter a text in the text input box and click synthesize. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, on the other side of the ocean. I think this prompt box is supposed to let us enter an emotion like happy or angry or sad and have the generated voice talk in that emotion, but I don't think it was working for me. I tried a bunch of different ones, but they all sounded the same to me. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, on the other side of the ocean. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, on the other side of the ocean. Let me know if you install this and try this out if you are able to figure out how to make the emotions work through this streamlit application. Anyways, I just wanted to show how to install this as this is a new project they are actively working on. I think they are also working on a hugging face space and other things, so I expect this will have a lot of new and pool things added over time as it is in active development as a new project. That's all for today. This Thanks is for all watching. wrong. Oh dear, I shouldn't this again. be up Enough here. Already. I should be Sorry back in that. school Thanks for watching. on the other Why side of the ocean. Why are we all talking at the same time?